so here i'm back with my experimental demonstration beta and i'm going to explain you how to use the circuit to fulfill any of your experimental analysis i have already explained you that we have connected a circuit in which all components except the voltmeter are connected in series right voltmeter is connected in parallel to the resistance and now i am going to start my experiment now let me explain you what i am going to do children i am going to change the resistance of the resistance box first i'll take out one ohm knob you know that if i take out one ohm knob then the one ohm resistance coil resistance which is in parallel to that air gap of one ohm knob will come into the circuit so at one ohm resistance introduced in the circuit there will be a current flowing through the circuit which will be measured by the emitter and there will be a resistance into current there will be let me show you first it in this circuit there will be a current i flowing in the circuit in the resistance and i into r i into r that will be potential drop across this resistance in current electricity when i'll explain you i'll explain you the potential drop also in fact these days i am taking uh, electrostatic potential energy in the um, theory classes so in theory classes i am going to explain you in the next video lecture what is potential difference and what is potential so don't worry if you don't have the clear concept of potential difference you will come to know so v is i into r that much you have gone through in class 10 that this much voltage difference potential difference will be across this resistance and that will be read by the voltmeter now imagine if current which if resistance was 1 ohm first and then i increase the resistance from 1 ohm to 2 ohm i increased the obstruction offered by the circuit then what will happen beta if you increase the resistance then the current in the circuit will decrease if you increase the resistance then current in the circuit will decrease and if current in the circuit is decreased the v which is i into r will also decrease because resistance of the circuit this wire is taken to be constant here one more thing in errors you have gone through the random air concept and systematic air concept actually we take the condition that temperature of this wire remains constant but if current flows through the resistance although this material of constantin or magnin has this property that if temperature increases their resistance is not increasing in that fashion but resistance still changes a little so this voltmeter reading and the emitter reading whatever we are taking from the two uh, devices v upon i should be constant whether it is 1 ohm or 2 ohm or 3 ohm resistance taken out from resistance box but with the fact that this material will not have exactly same resistance at different temperature and when current flows through this uh, resistance for some time the wire gets uh, heated up you can touch the wire and you can feel the temperature increase so that is why we don't have v upon i exactly same value for 1 ohm for 2 ohm for 3 ohm resistance of the resistance box so that error we take that error into the consideration and we say that in the permissible error range which is the 10% error which is allowed in the standard re result 
within the permissible error range the v upon i should be constant so it will not come exactly same but it should come the values should come close to each other is it clear so now i am going to increase 1 ohm 2 ohm 3 ohm the resistance of the circuit each time you will see that current is decreasing and the voltmeter reading or v is also decreasing accordingly so let me start our experiment and i am showing you the observation table which carries lot of marks in your practical exam beta if you want to get full marks in your practical exam then you have to draw technically correct observation table and you have to write technically correct way uh, in technically correct way the observation see the very first thing which i am supposed to write here is the least count of all the apparatus which we are uh, using this is very important if you are not writing then according to the board rule the marks will be deducted then if ammeter reading i'll sh show you how to take reading if i'm taking ammeter reading i'll show you that this least count if it is up to two decimal place then my all reading should be up to two decimal place if it is voltmeter reading is up to two decimal place then my all reading should be written up to two decimal places are you getting this very important point the least count of the device which you are using should be taken into consideration then these star marks all the units if you forget to write the unit then according to the board rule your marks will be deducted so let me start first the experiment and take the readings let me first tight all the knobs before starting the experiment you have to take care of it then see 1 ohm resistance i'm focusing because i have to show you the values of voltmeter and ammeter so see i am taking 1 ohm resistance it is written here 1 ohm so i am taking 1 ohm resistance out can you see it the 1 ohm resistance is taken out and switch on the battery the voltage applied is 3.5 volt and you have seen when there was no current flowing through the circuit then emf of the battery was 3.5 volt now this volt meter reading see this volt meter reading is the reading across this resistance the volt meter reading let me show you the volt meter reading is across this resistance because it is connected in parallel to this resistance so volt meter reading is whatever is reading between the point a and point b of the circuit diagram so let me show you how to take reading can you see that pointer is reading some value now till you are not confident enough don't read the voltmeter directly because then you will certainly read the wrong reading so what is the method to uh, read the reading of the voltmeter and ammeter first i'll see where the pointer is i'll count the number of lines number of divisions which the pointer have crossed see 10 can you see 10 lines 20 lines and then 1 2 3 23 line per pointer hai can you see it let me uh, observe it yes it is at 23 line i want to get it confirmed it is 23rd line 
तो पॉइंटर ने कितनी डिविजन्स क्रॉस किए ट्वेंटी थ्री डिविजन्स और लीस्ट काउंट किसे कहते हैं वैल्यू ऑफ वन डिविजन क्लियर है ना बेटा वैल्यू ऑफ वन डिविजन इज लीस्ट काउंट एंड द वोल्ट मीटर क्रॉस ट्वेंटी थ्री डिविजन्स ट्वेंटी थर्ड डिविजन पर वोल्ट मीटर है तो अब देखो हम लोग रीडिंग को लिखेंगे कैसे वोल्ट मीटर रीडिंग ऑलवेज ऑलवेज यूज दिस मेथड सो दैट यू आर नॉट मेकिंग एनी मिस्टेक वोल्ट मीटर रीडिंग विल बी नंबर ऑफ डिविजन्स विच द वोल्ट मीटर पॉइंटर क्रॉस्ड इन टू लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ द वोल्ट मीटर नाउ लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ द वोल्ट मीटर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर बट लेट मी शो यू वंस अगेन देखो जीरो से पॉइंट फाइव के बीच ये पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट है और ये जीरो वोल्ट है बिटवीन जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट हाउ मेनी लाइन्स आर देयर टेन लाइन्स सो पॉइंट फाइव वोल्ट is divided 0 to 0.5 volt value is divided in 10 equal parts you can count these are 10 lines 10 divisions are equal to value of 0.5 volt so one division of the voltmeter will be equal to 0.5 upon 10 volt this is simple unitary method so i will write the voltmeter least count first as i told you that first you are supposed to write the voltmeter least count 0.5 volt is the value of 10 divisions so the one division will read 0.5 upon 10 that will be 0.05 volt now the least count is having the value up to two decimal places so all the readings which you will take from this voltmeter will have the reading up to two decimal places agar second decimal place pe kuch nahi hai na then you will simply write zero but you have to write all the observations up to two decimal places through this voltmeter now in ammeter let we see what is the ammeter's least count check it out beta from 0 to 0.2 10 divisions are there so reading of the the uh, 10 divisions value will be 0.2 ampere or let me use another of ammeter in which we are having the least count up to 3 decimal place so that you can be uh, capable of understanding how to write reading so let me change this voltmeter this ammeter with a ammeter which is having its least count up to 3 decimal places here is the ammeter which is having least count up to 3 decimal places because i want my children to be confident enough voltmeter change ho gaya least count 3 decimal places to tak ho gaya then i don't want want my children to get confused or they don't remember that now they are supposed to write the observation up to 3 decimal places because the emitter least count is up to 3 decimal places so here is the ammeter with least count up to 3 decimal places first i am connecting the ammeter in series with the circuit is the experiment easy or difficult well beta there are certain things which you are suppose to take care but there is this uh, experiment is not difficult 
so now let me see the emitter and let me focus my camera on the emitter now see this is 0.25 so the emitter value from 0 to 0.25 is divided in 10 equal parts can you see it 0.25 so the least count will be least count will be can you see the least count will be 0.25 upon 10 clear so the least count of the emitter will be 0 0.025 ampere is it clear beta now your emitter is having the least count up to three decimal places and voltmeter is having least count up to two decimal places and we are going to take care of both of them so let me start our reading switch on i have already taken the voltmeter reading but let me show you again let me show you again the pointer is at ten ten since the arrangement is changed so see voltmeter because emitter is also having some uh, resistance and voltmeter is having resistance so when the resistance emitter i have changed emitter so the voltmeter reading has changed because according to the resistance now total resistance offered by the circuit so don't get scared by these things 10 then 20 then 30 and now it is 31st division now what you are uh, supposed to do if the pointer is between second and third or first and second so then always make a policy either you take the previous one or you take the the later one so i am taking the previous one so here count count yourself between 0 to 0.10 division between 0.5 to 0 to 0.5 10 0.5 to 110, 1 to 1.5, 10. So total 30 and one more. 31 divisions are crossed by the pointer and pointer is at 31st division. Is it clear now? Can I uh, write the voltmeter reading? All right. So if there is any confusion, see it again and I uh, write the reading. So here is voltmeter reading. See beta, 35 divisions, sorry, 31 division, the 31st division is where the pointer is. So what is actually the voltmeter reading? One division's value according to least count one division's value is 0 0.05 so 30 divisions 31 divisions value will be 31 into 0 0.05 it's simple unitary method that one orange cost this much then how much 12 orange will cost so 31 into least count of the voltmeter 0 0.05 now the better way to perform the experiment is take, keep on taking all the required five observations first then sit calmly and do your calculation work so i am doing the same first i will take all the observations and then i will take i will calculate so let me see what is emitter reading now check out emitter 10 20 30 and this is 34th line see see it directly keeping your eyes above the reading it is if i see it i get it confirmed not 34 beta it is 35th line 35th 
थर्टी फिफ्थ लाइन सीट ऑल ऑफ यू कैन सी थर्टी फिफ्थ लाइन शेल आई गो विद द रीडिंग ऑल राइट सो लेट मी राइट माई फर्स्ट रीडिंग थर्टी फाइव डिविजन इन टू थर्टी फाइव डिविजन इन टू वैल्यू ऑफ वन डिविजन ऑफ एनी टर क्लियर नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट फास्ट बिकॉज आई हैव ऑलरेडी सी आई एल पुट द नॉब इन द वन मीटर वन ओम रेजिस्टेंस एयर गैप एंड नाउ द टू मीटर द sorry two ohm resistance see two ohm resistance is introduced in the circuit now quickly check out the voltmeter reading it is 24th division at which the pointer is 10 20 and 24th division all of you can see so 24th division into least count let me write 24 into least count right now let me see the meter reading for a meter reading it is 36th sorry 26th division see 10 20 and the six more 26th division the pointer is at 26th division always observe the reading keeping your eyes exactly at the top of the scale so let me write it first 26 into least count of the emitter is it clear beta now i am going to take this 1 ohm and 2 ohm both the resistances 1 ohm and 2 ohm now the total resistance 3 ohm is in the circuit let me fast be fast to see the reading now voltmeter reading reads this is 19 see at the 19th division the pointer is can you see it and emitter reading emitter reading is at 21st division 21st division the pointer is at 21st division 10 20 and 21st 10 20 and 21st is it clear beta so let me write the reading emitter reading is 21st into 0.025 and voltmeter reading is 19 into 0.05 right now see what i am going to do i'll put one ohm uh, uh, knob in the one ohm air gap and now the 2 ohm and 2 ohm are in the circuit 4 ohm let me see the voltmeter reading the voltmeter reading can you see it is at 16th division it is actually between 16th and 17th division but i'll take 16th the so voltmeter reading is at 16th division into point 05 and emitter reading is 
एमीटर रीडिंग इज एट एटीनथ डिवीजन एमीटर रीडिंग सी इट इज एट एटीनथ लाइन वाइल वोल्ट मीटर रीडिंग इज एट सिक्सटींथ लाइन सो लेट मी राइट दी रीडिंग एमीटर रीडिंग इज एट एटीनथ डिवीजन इन टू पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव वाइल वोल्ट मीटर रीडिंग इज सिक्सटीन इन टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाउ हेयर वी कम एट आर लास्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन तो लास्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन वेन द रेजिस्टेंस इज फाइव ओम नाउ वी कैन टेक आउट द फाइव ओम रेजिस्टेंस डायरेक्टली or we can take out this 1 ohm resistance knob so that 1 plus 2 plus 2 5 ohm is in the circuit and now again let we observe the voltmeter reading now let me see first it is 14th division see 14th division the voltmeter reading is pointer is so voltmeter reading is 14th into 0.05 and see the ammeter reading let me see first ammeter is at 15th ammeter pointer is at 15th division so let we first write the ammeter reading and voltmeter reading and complete the part of observation ammeter reading is it is at 15th line so 15th division's value will be 15 into 1 division's value right and the voltmeter part it is 14 into 0.05 am i clear with my explanation so i hope that all of you are getting benefited with the explanation how to connect circuit how to take reading of voltmeter and ammeter and now my all observations are done and i am at a point when i have to complete the calculation so i am showing you all the readings now do the calculation along with me do the calculation along with me check out the readings calculate the voltmeter and ammeter reading along with me and then you can use calculator here resistance box value i have not written resistance uh, box uh, whatever resistances i have taken out from the resistance box i have not written here so let me complete it also first i have taken 1 ohm then 2 ohm then 3 ohm 4 ohm and 5 ohm so after calculating v and i what you are supposed to do calculate v upon i and write in this column after calculating v upon i we have to take average of the v upon i because v upon i is nothing but r so we have to add all the five values and divide it with 5 to get average value of resistance clear this much first we have to complete and after that we have to start with the graph so i am going to tell you each and everything which you have to take care if you want full marks in your practical and i can assure you that if you are taking care of all the points you are going to get full marks in your practical so let me calculate it and after some time we'll meet with our calculation so in the next video lecture we will be ready with the readings and with the uh, calculations and after that i'll tell you 
how to draw correct graph